Hey Stingers, welcome back here to JJ's Little Stings. So uh, I've done the most logical thing to do when you can't sleep, when you can't sleep about 2 a.m. and that's to grab your tarantulas and try out a mating. Cause yes, that makes sense to do that when you are tired. <laughs> um, but doesn't matter, so we're gonna do this. Uh, but I am going to clear something up for a couple of people. Um, now, Put this simply, you have a you have the Philogius Goliath, and you have the Philogius Western form Goliath. The Western form Goliath is very closely related to the Goliath found in a different location. Now, the Philogius K2 is basically a Western form Goliath. It was found in a different location, but from a couple from a few other people, it was basically ID'd as the Western form. Now, the girl I have here, I had purchased as a Philogius K2 at the time. I wasn't actually aware that it is also the Western Fawn Goliath. Uh, the funny bit is that I have a male for her. So, we're going to try and mate them up. And we'll see how it goes. So this will be a bit nerve-wracking, a little bit exciting. Uh, so last year I made it up my other Western Fawn Goliath, who is just right here <laughs> behind this. I don't open this up unless these lights are either off or dimmed down because I want to disturb them as little as possible. Um, but I will turn the lights down a little bit once I take these covers off because I don't want to, don't want to irritate her too much. It's not, you know. Gotta create some romance. Dim the lights and help the boy create some romance for her. Uh, but, yeah. But if he's not lucky, it might be death by snoo snoo. Hopefully not. I really don't like that happening. I know it's a part of uh, what happens with the male tarantulas and it's common, uh, but I have been feeding her up for the past uh, couple of weeks and getting that booty nice and fat uh, in the hopes that she will not uh, in the hopes that she will not decide to eat him. Hello. Okay, so just remember, I'm tired, it's late, and I'm probably making no sense. But it doesn't matter. Okay, let's do this! Uh, let's just uncover this. Okay. Well, first up, I'll get the table all positioned, grab that camera, grab my other camera, and hopefully we'll get some good footage. I said hopefully. Okay, first things first, we need to get this male. Now, he's a big boy. Ah, oh, he done some webbing up in there, mate. Let's see if I can somehow get him out of here without having to take up his home. Let's see you, buddy. He's not gonna like that. No one would. All right, let's do this. Okay, you're gonna come out now. That'll be right. Good boy. That's it. Yeah, good boy. Yeah. Let's try and get you in the cup, buddy. Uh, 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 uh. In the cup. And yeah, pop that in <laughs> Yeah, a bit feisty, aren't we? Okay. Good boy.
Well done, mate. Well done. I was hoping you would bring her outside, but yeah, you didn't. But you know what? Well done, and luckily I got it. Wow, you're going to have another go, are you? Bring her outside this time. Okay, Stingers, so uh, I was a bit of a mm, one. I was hoping that he would lure her out on the first go, uh, but he didn't, and he decided to go charging into that web. Uh, we did get a mating as far as I could see. I'm hoping that I managed to get some footage on my phone. It was just really hard to get the light right without getting the glare uh, while she was in her burrow. Uh, he did come back out and then he went around the side and it looked like he was going to give it another go so I actually sat back and uh, pretty much watched for a little while or well, about an hour and a half so <laughs> so the first mating actually was less than probably five minutes probably I think it was only like two or three minutes and then I sat down and waited an hour and a half and she backed off. It was a bit cute because she was like, yeah, now I've had enough. I'm going to wiggle my butt and web up. And then he decided he wanted to go again. And then she decided she might be interested. But, you know, he just... I think he's not much of a charmer. You know, he wasn't really doing much to try and lure her out. Uh, plus, it is a bit of a tight squeeze for her. And I don't really think she could actually get at it if she tried. Um... But she, he's backed off, so I'm gonna grab him and put him back into his home, write the dates on the enclosure, and hopefully within a month or two, she'll drop us an egg sack. And, but I'll find her a spot behind here, so she's in complete darkness until she drops her egg sack. Let's get him out, because I am super tired, and I would, I would like to go to bed now. Uh, Oh, no, don't, no, no, he's, he's gonna go for it again. Oh, okay. You really gonna try for it, mate? Yep, he's gonna go for it. The jiggy bugger won't stop. Um, but if he wants to give it another go, I'm gonna let him give it another go. I'll grab the stool and I'll sit back and I'll watch some YouTube and keep an eye on him. <sighs> But please don't make it another hour and a half. <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll, I'll at least turn the lights back down. Uh, I think uh, she might have taken a strike at him and he's realized that she doesn't want any more and she's just not interested. Um, so I will, I'll just get him out now and we'll see if he behaves. You know, he wasn't very happy when I was getting him out of his home and he was putting up a little bit of a fight. But like I was saying before, I was hoping he would try and get her outside so we can get nice clear footage. Because it's always nice to see that. Yeah, so let's grab the containers. Where's my brush? There's my brush. All right, mate. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Don't go again. I haven't got time for your shenanigans. I'm going to get you out. No, don't. 
you sure, mate? Are you sure? <laughs> I, I didn't see her strike, but he backed off quick. But, you know, maybe he thought she was going to come running out of the other end. But out of all honesty, though, I would rather him... I'd rather him have a couple of goes with her because then there's a higher chance of uh, more... There's a higher chance of success. Oh, come on, mate. Lure her out. Bring her out. What's she doing? She's still at the other end. She's still at the other end thinking he's up there. Gonna tap a little harder, mate, if you don't want to get her attention. The great thing about her burrow is it will be easy to see if she has laid her egg sac in a couple of months. Um, I'm hoping it's not that long. Like, it didn't take very long for my Philogius PQ113. Uh, she basically dropped her egg sac in 28 days. It might have been a little bit sooner, maybe a day or two. Uh, because I always, after, after about 28 days, I usually try and leave it every three days when I check on them so I'm not disturbing them too much. Um, but because I opened the egg sacs at 50 to 55 days, depending on the species, that's why I try to leave it around three days. So I usually take a day off or two, depending on how fat the egg sac is looking. I'm sorry if I'm slurring my words. Uh, I'm quite tired. I think it's like four o'clock now. Uh, it keeps changing his mind. He's slowly moved in, but he's not charging in like he did the first time. I think he's actually going to try and lure her out uh, more into the open so he actually has more room to run away or to back off. Um, she is a big girl, like she's probably a good... She hasn't moved yet. Come on mate, you're going to have to do some thump here, thump here. You know, tippity tap, tippity tap. Come on mate, beat those pedal pulps. I reckon it's now time to get him out. He's given up. Uh, I've given up after waiting another half an hour. Uh, but yeah, let's get him out and hopefully he, he just goes straight into the cup and we can call it a night. Good boy. That's it. Ready, mate? May I know? Don't get me. I'm tired. There you go. Use those long legs. There you go, buddy. Nice. There you go. Finished. Uh, I think all up that took about three hours in the end. Um, it was pretty much five minutes for the first go, two hours and 55 minutes of waiting for nothing else. Um, but where's her lid? We'll put her lid back on after I just give her a spray so I don't have to later. <laughs> Okay, Stingers, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was a bit of a weird one and it is late at night. So also I'd like to say a great thank you to a few of my supporters, uh, Deb, Sam and Sean. Thank you so much for purchasing my merchandise. Uh, there's a couple other people, but I'll mention you all in the next video. But the reason I say thank you is because of you guys. I was able to afford box lights which will try, which will hopefully help with my lighting situation it's it's helping it helps every little bit helps guys and when you watch my full videos those times those minutes rack up and i currently need four thousand hours um <laughs> i am at 600 which i think you know is a great feat but i'll catch you all in my next video